Hey, what's up everyone, it's DV, and today we're gonna be covering the best lights in Roblox Islands, starting with the brightest of lights all the way down to the least brightest. So this is actually gonna be a lot of fun to go through because I'm doing the work so you don't have to. So I'm actually also gonna be covering how much some of these items cost. So if you're looking to brighten up your base, let's get to it. But before I begin, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button and smash subscribe button if you are new. So again, I'm going to be covering all of the different lights in the game, including some lights that you probably didn't even know existed so this is actually starting with the brightest all the way to the least brightest. Now, one thing I found crazy is some lights actually don't even provide any kind of lighting whatsoever. So I'm hoping I can save you some time on some lights that you shouldn't waste your materials on. And it's perfect timing because it's about to turn nighttime. The main three workbenches for making lights are going to be the standard workbench. I believe you can make torches in tier two or tier one. And then you've got lighting station. Obviously, this is a game pass item. And then you've got the furniture workbench, which also makes lights. And then of course, um, actually, there's a third place that we need even cover it, which is going to be at the block sky out here. So if you're looking for some pricier lights that you don't have to actually, you know, craft anything with, you can come all the way out here to the hub and talk to the block sky. So you can see this guy right here, John. So you can go here and you can actually buy these lights as well. So we're going to actually be showing these off as well as the most expensive light for a million coins and whether or not it's really worth it, like out of these, which one's worth buying. And then of course it always comes down to like, what are you going to be using those lights for? Do you need wall lights? Do you need ground lights, ceiling lights, all that kind of stuff. So let's head back and show you these lights. So, okay. So perfect timing though. So this is nighttime lighting. Okay. These are going to be the brightest lights for nighttime. So you can see here we have the luxury candle stand. And this is actually comes from the block guy outside that we just showed you. It costs 50,000 coins and is the brightest light in the game currently with the brightest light source in the game. I don't know why, but maybe it's because it's so low to the ground. I just, I'm not sure, but this is the best one. So if you're really trying to get that blinding light look, you know, where it like completely lights it up, this is the one to do. So I'm going to actually show you that in a little bit. And then the second brightest is actually going to be the firefly display case. Now, now this it does emit like a yellow so you can actually change the colors of these as well so if you want to use like um, red fireflies you can and it's a pretty good light um, it is a little dimmer than some of the others but it's still so bright like you, it's so vibrant you know it's the second most vibrant light out here now from this point all the way over here they're kind of similar in many ways but you're gonna notice a big difference as soon as it turns daytime some of these are actually a lot brighter than they let on during nighttime so we're gonna wait for the daytime to show you the rest of these so you can see here as it gets brighter brighter in the day. It's just going to continue to get brighter and brighter and brighter. So as the sun comes up, this is actually going to turn completely white in a moment. Again, it is the brightest one in the game. Now you might be wondering why I'm actually using ice for this example. I actually tested a bunch of different blocks prior to this. This one was the best one to show that really reflects the light really well. And it can also create that glow that some of you actually want. So I felt this was actually the best block to use as an example. But you see, look how bright it's getting. It's getting so bright and it gets even brighter. It's going to be glowing pretty soon here. So as soon as that goes up a little bit more, it's going to be glowing as bright as these blocks down here. It's going to turn into that. It gets really, really bright. So the luxury lights are actually some of the best lights in the game currently. Um, they only cost 50,000 each, which is pretty good if you're looking for, you know, really bright lights, especially if you're looking for a ceiling light. I would say this one's pretty good. And then you've got the moonlights here. The moonlights are really good. So are the starlight. They're pretty similar. And I think they may actually use the same lights. These are pretty bright here. And then these are actually really bright as well. So these are really, really good ceiling lights. I would say these right here are probably very similar similar to each other. You can see that's getting really, look at, look how much it's glowing already. It's looking so bright. So these are actually the lamp posts. They're actually really bright. These are the luxury wall lamps. They're pretty good. And then um, these are a little less. So you can see the difference between these already. So you can see there's a big difference already between these two. And then coming back to this first one, look how bright that is. It's the same number. So what I did was I put two light sources next to each other just for an even comparison to see if we can achieve this. And this is absolutely nuts. Look, look how bright that is. It still isn't even at the 12 o'clock position and it is already glowing so so bright. And so again, if you're looking for those really, really bright lights that we used to have, it's going to be these. It's definitely going to be those. Now, again, these are the lights that are pretty good, including um, this is actually the candle lights. These are pretty good. These are bright here. So, and then these are the luxury lights here. These are actually cost a million each and they're not very good. Visually, they look really cool, but they're not as bright as the others. These are really good. The circular ceiling lights. These were actually really good too, but for the price and for the effort, they're not so good. The only thing I did like about this is that they are neon blocks. So you can actually see them. They, they look really good. So if you're looking for like some yellow lights or something like that. And they're pretty tall too. It's kind of added bonus that they're tall. So you don't actually have to stack a bunch. These are really nice. These are kind of a little bit more yellow, which I like. These are the lanterns. They're not as bright as some of these others over here. You're going to notice that in a moment. Once the sun comes all the way up, you're going to see a really good comparison. And then these kind of, these aren't as good to be honest. Now, a lot of people don't actually know the jukeboxes do light up. So you can see the ground here. And I'm actually going to take away some of these so you can see the difference. The, the unfortunate with the chandeliers is that the chandeliers, as bright as they are, and they're really bright, they have to be spaced a lot further 
further away from each other, but they're super bright. The regular lanterns and the candles are pretty bright. And then the torches are a little less bright. You're going to notice that at nighttime because right now it's kind of bright. These actually have zero light emitters. So these, these three right here have zero light emitting from them. And then this actually, this, these street lights actually have a very similar lighting to all of these as well. So we're going to wait until nighttime again. And I'm going to show you those in a minute, but uh, let's go back over here and show you how this ground is glowing. It is nuts. Look how bright that is. So I actually bought it some more so we can actually show you how bright this can actually get. Look at this. That is crazy bright, right? That is super bright. So you could actually use these for like, if I wanted to really brighten this up, all I'd have to do is some, put some luxury candles all the way up and it would really brighten everything up. So I'm gonna take all these back out real quick. I don't know why there's such a pain to destroy. All right, so now it's just one. Look at, it's just one now. Look how bright a single one is. It still beats all these doubles. It is amazing. It's the best light, like I said, in the game. So there we go. There's the two again. It just looks stellar. So I would actually highly recommend those. They're only 50,000 coins. Now, I don't have the wall lamps out, but I'm going to show you those real quick. They're pretty much the same as these. So you can see they're pretty much the same. They're really bright, but they're pretty much the same as the luxury ones. So you can use the regular wall lamps or you can use the luxury ones. The difference between that is paying 50,000 coins for gold ones, or you can, you know, the, the regular wall lamps are really cheap to Make. So you can see regular wall lamps are only going to cost you 20 iron and 10 coal. That's way cheaper than going out and buying the gold ones. So again, if you're just looking for the luxury look, then yeah, go for these. So now that the light's up here, you can actually see this way better. You can see how bright these are. These are super bright. You can see how it's starting to glow. And then it kind of tapers off over here. You can see these aren't as bright. So again, some of these are more effective depending on the time of day you're looking at. So you can see these have like nice spotlights and then it starts fading off. Like these aren't as good over here. This one's actually really good right here. But then you can start seeing like you can barely even see any lighting on some of these and then you can see the difference here look at no light versus light and these are the cheap old torches right super cheap to make these so these are gonna actually be about the same as these these are just a little brighter than torches and then surprisingly the uh, firefly wall lamps are really bad they're actually pretty bad and then these are actually also game pass items so one i didn't actually include is this other street lamp here so this one actually does not have any kind of light either that has zero light source so i just dropped a couple there that has zero light it used to i don't know what happened but it used to have light but it does doesn't really. I think it might actually be super soft, but uh, it doesn't provide any kind of light. So we're going to wait for nighttime real quick, and then I'm going to show you again so you can see what these look like. In the meantime, let's try out some of these luxury candles because I want to actually see how they do going up here. So I'm actually going to put some up here. Yeah, you see how bright it gets? It gets super bright up there. And what I like about it is it's not so bright that it's actually going to blind us. It kind of does gray out some of my blocks, but when I actually do the rest of these, if I just put them on the back side of this, you won't even notice them. Like even coming in here, you can't even notice them. You might notice them in here, no, you can't even notice them in here. So yeah, they're perfect. Those are actually perfect. So I'll probably put some more on this side here and then I'll just brighten this all up. It's going to look really cool. In fact, let's go buy some more. All right, we're going to buy, let's see how many should we buy? We'll, we'll buy 20, we'll buy 20 more of those, just a million. I want to see them at night. I want to see how cool this looks at night. All right, let's see what it looks like. Dude, that's really bright up there. Look how bright that is. I might actually have to turn it down a little bit, but man, that is bright. It looks really neat. Okay, so I want to go back through here real quick for you and show you what it looks like at nighttime. So again, this is super bright. You can see a lot of color in here. We got these bright platforms here. So if you come back here, you're going to notice a huge difference in lighting. So you can see if I remove this, you're not going to see any difference in lighting whatsoever. Same for these hanging lights. Does nothing. These do nothing right here. Removing these does not make it any darker. Same for these. And then over here, you can see these are still pretty bright. And then I'm gonna actually show you the jukeboxes too, cause I, I think you might not actually see the lighting very well for this, but I'm gonna remove them. And you're gonna see the light go away. See how it gets darker. And then if I add the jukebox back, so you can actually use jukeboxes for pretty cool um, lighting. You can see, you got the little spotlight here. Works pretty well. So I've actually used them for lighting. A lot of people, you know, used to think that it would be kind of pointless to ever sell those, but they're really cool decoration items. And then again, these are actually pretty nice. So let's go grab these and place them somewhere and I'll show you what they look like. Let's put them in a dark area over here. So like, you see how bright they are? They're pretty good. And I like that they glow. It's almost like a lightsaber. It looks really neat. I like those a lot. Those are really cool. They may actually be worth the cloth because they just look really neat, especially coming up here. Imagine if you made like a whole row of these, that'd look really cool. And it looks like I don't have the sea lanterns out here anymore. I had them earlier, but I'll show you the sea lanterns real quick. I don't know why I took them out, but they're actually pretty dark. I think I meant to put them back here. They're actually pretty dark. So check this out. So they're not, they're not as good as you think, but they're really dim now. They used to be really good before. So again, you got the wall lamps here. You got the torches. Torches are great. They're super easy, cheap to make. Now out of all these, if I were going to make a choice to what to use, I would certainly use these. They're, they're kind of pricey, but they're, they are the best. Like I would choose these hands down over anything 
everything. I would actually stay away from display cases because they're even though they you know are a light source, they're kind of eh. Um, these are excellent. I would say the moons or the stars. If you're going to do any kind of ceiling lights, I would use these or the moons out of all of them. And then I would actually just kind of skip this one. It's kind of cool from a decoration standpoint. Same with this one. So I would actually only use these if I was you know if I were going for something like that for my island. But if you're trying to go for something that's actually lighting based, I would probably go with something like this. These are actually really bright at night and during the day. So they're really, really good. Look at if I take them away, look how much was lost by removing them. These are actually really good too, but they're expensive. So I wouldn't even bother with those. I would also use these. These are really good. Pretty much that's all. Like I wouldn't really even bother with any of these others unless I really had to. I'd use torches, you know, especially if I couldn't afford much stuff. Torches are excellent, excellent lights. So in summary, if you're looking for the brightest, you're going to be looking at the luxury candle, which you can buy from the Black Sky outside. If you're looking for all around cheap, it's going to be torches. So if you're looking for ceiling lights, these are excellent, excellent lights. These are these are way better because they are cheapest. They're they're only 10 iron and 15 coal, and you can make a ton of these. So if you're looking for the wall lighting, I would actually use wall lamps if you can. And then if you're looking for ground lighting, I would actually use lanterns in here, right here. I would actually use firefly lanterns if you can afford them. If you can't afford the firefly lanterns, one of my favorites are going to be obviously the wooden lamps. And then actually, I'm really liking the tall lantern. I would say that's my other favorite here. These are okay, depending on what you're building. I'm actually going to be changing my internal lighting in here pretty soon from these because I don't really like the look of them. So I'll probably use something else for this. I was using these temporarily. I actually don't like the look of them. So I'm going to be switching those out. I might actually use these instead because these look really cool. Imagine a bunch of these in here. That would actually look really cool. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. And then in my next video, I'm actually going to be focusing on something that has been very confusing for a while now in the game. And a lot of you actually never talk about it. So stay tuned for that video coming up tomorrow. And uh, yes, I am still working on the Trillion Scammers video. Don't worry. I'm still working on it. It just takes a lot longer to make. So I will be making that video pretty soon. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.